So I've been hearing a lot about neobinium on the internet. We're doing some research on things like that in the office. And so I figured, why not get one and see what this thing can do? You can use it for magnet fishing, all sorts of fun little tricks with bearings and anything that's ferrous. These things can be dangerous. This is a 350 pound force magnet. A very typical, in this case, Amazon box. It doesn't come with any kind of warnings. The box and the magnet come in at 1.7 pounds, 757 grams. Well, let's see how magnetic it is in the box. One of my concerns is how do you store a thing like this, especially with young kids. So let's try the ball bearing test. No, ball bearings not interested whatsoever. Passes the ball bearing test. So we'll open it up. See what's inside, how it's packed. This came rather quickly. You can get them all sorts of different sizes. Standard bubble wrap. Nothing really special. That just keeps it from bouncing around, I guess. Okay, goodbye box. Here we have the only thing, neobinium magnet with eye bolt. We're gonna try the ball bearing test on this other box. See if the ball bearings are interested. Oh, we have a winner. That must be the bottom. But still not very impressive. Supposedly it's only magnetic on the... Oh, look at that. The side. I would predict, having not opened this box yet, that the magnet's sitting in it something like that. Open this box up. Wrapped in regular paper bag. Oops, it's got a warning. Here we go. Warning, handle with care. Children should not be allowed to handle or play with these magnets. These magnets are powerful and can accelerate at high speeds towards each other, towards ferrous materials, pinching skin, keeping away from children, pacemakers, electronics. Read additional warnings online. Put some gloves on. Oh, here we go. Just brown paper. There's the magnet, protective coating. And that comes off rather easy. Actually, that's making me a little nervous because I paid a lot of money for a 350 pound force magnet and it's really easy to come off. I gotta try one. Oh man, that went fast. And it's relatively hard to take off compared to the other side. Oh man, those things just want to go there and they want to stay. This came as a as a whole set, the mounting hardware, and if it's 300 pounds worth, see there you go. Kind of interested, but not really. This, kind of interested. Screwdriver, oh I can feel it. Oh man. All right, let's try to get the screwdriver off. Alright, I'm going to put this on, risk a little with, without the gloves because I was having problems getting the eyelet on. That makes some difference. Uh, do not battle me yet! Alright, here's with the mounting, plenty of threads. By the way, my finger wasn't cut by this. Looks pretty harmless, but when I put it on the table, I can feel it drawing down. There's all sorts of metal things. See that jump? Maybe you didn't see it. So that's, there's metal stuff underneath the table. There's also a metal frame under here. Just for grins, I figured I would measure it again. What? Oh! And I think I just killed my scale. Hold on. Here! <laughs> Guess what? I can't measure it. And I may not be able to get it off. Oh, nope. 
Oh uh, boy, it's got a life of its own. Oops. Okay, that's reading at 562 grams. In the full package before I opened it, it was 757 grams. English units. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to pinch me. So it comes in right around almost three inches. And for the folks who like the metric system, that's about 75 millimeters. So I can see how these things would be really dangerous because as you put it on the table, I'm trying to make sure my skin doesn't get between the table and my it goes down heavy. Do some initial testing with metals. That's how I know this is an aluminum thing and it's just not interesting. Copper wire. Nope. No interest whatsoever. I've connected a fairly standard tape measure. It's actually connected to the magnet over here. And we're just going to move this three quarter inch ball bearing down and see when it starts reacting. Four inches not interested, three inches, about three inches it wants to take off like a rocket. Let's try two ball bearings, three quarter inch ball bearings, and see when they get interested. See if two charges it up. Okay, so what's around three is the magic number. I can feel it starting to pull a little bit. It's getting interested. It's getting interested. There you go. Right around three inches is the danger zone. Now we have a half inch ball bearing. Now around three. There you go. First look at a 350 pound neobinium magnet. This is on there really good. I might put some sort of coating over the top of that to protect it. It's really encased in there well. And this steel protection is good because these magnets have a tendency to be very brittle. Stay tuned. Check it out. Future videos. Thumbs up. Comments always appreciated.